Hi, thank you so much for joining. Today we're going to be doing a heart opening practice. I want you to feel nourished. I want you to feel like you're able to open your heart up um, and that most importantly, you're taking care of yourself by opening your heart up, right? Sometimes we want to open ourselves up and help absolutely everyone and sometimes that means that there's nothing left for us. So in this practice, we're going to open up and take care of ourselves at the same time. So typically we start off in a breathing exercise. Today we're going to do things just a little bit differently. We're going to start by taking care of you. And instead of just taking care of any part of you, we're going to take care of the part that kind of gets neglected the most, our feet. So find yourself in a comfortable position. Today for class, um, you might want to use a blanket or a couple of blocks. There's going to be some variations. But find yourself in a comfortable seated position. I'm going to put my blanket underneath me. So a little bit of elevation. And then go ahead and grab onto your right leg. So let's we'll start off, we'll just bring the knee in, give it a squeeze, rock that hip side to side. And then holding on to our ankle, just start rolling the ankle around. Roll it one way, roll it the other way. If you hear any cracks or popping, it's all the your foot up just a little bit and then so I just want to show you right so here we have our arch our heel the ball under our foot and our toes I don't know if you know but um, all of the all of the veins that are in your organs they all end up at the bottom of your feet so um, in eastern medicine right they do acupuncture and acupressure to massage the feet and uh, effectively it's almost like massaging the rest of your organs um, but besides that, it also just feels really good because especially in your arch, right, in your plantar fascia, you, you tend to build up a lot of tension and it doesn't release. And when you have that tension there, especially if you're doing any balancing poses like we'll be practicing today, um, you might have a lot of instability because your foot, your, the arch is up so much and it's so tight. But if we massage it out, that you might actually have it relax a little bit more and maybe find some firmness and stability on the floor. So let's go ahead and start massaging. We're going to use our thumbs and we're just going to start pressing into the bottom of our foot just very gently or firmly, whatever suits you. I want to move some blood around. Make sure you grab the top of the foot too. And then you can switch to using your knuckles. So with the knuckles, I'm just kind of uh, rolling my knuckles like so. And then we're going to use kind of like a kneading motion. So especially in that arch area, kneading it out. Sometimes you'll feel like little crackles um, as you're doing that. And let's do every single toe, showing each toe some love. Ball out of the foot, working down the arch, down to the heel, grabbing that Achilles heel. And then take your fingers, spread them out wide, and you're going to interlace each finger between each toe. And then pull back on your toes. Pulling back on the toes, pull the toes forward, from side to side, really stretching out your foot. And then hold on to your toes just for a second. Create some pressure here. And then ah, let it go. One more time, rolling the ankle one way, other way. And let the right foot go. Let's start with the left foot. On the left foot, we're just going to hold on to our knee. Gently massaging out that hip socket. And let's switch. So you're going to bring the foot up over to your ankle. Roll that ankle one way. Roll it the other way. I find that the people who tend to take care of everyone else, they do such a good job of taking care of everyone else, except for that one person, which is themselves, right? So it's really good to find some time um, to take care of yourself, take care of your body. So using our uh, thumbs, we're going to start just bringing some blood. And you can, you can put your foot on the floor if that gives you a little more stability too. We're starting at our foot, bringing in some blood. Another great way of showing some love to your feet is taking a nice 
warm bath, add some baking soda and Epsom salt. Baking soda helps um, move the pH to be a little bit more neutral in the water. And the Epsom salt helps uh, soak any like toxins or anything away, so it's really good. Okay, so now I'm going to move to my knuckles, so I'm rolling my knuckles out on my foot. And now grabbing every single toe, showing every toe some love. Sometimes you'll find that your toes are like really pointed in a specific way. Um, and you don't really necessarily want that to be the case. Massaging kind of helps that out. But the reason they do that is because you probably wear a specific type of shoe that's shaped the toe that way. Okay. So a couple more seconds here. Massaging at the bottom of the foot. Make sure you grab the Achilles heel. Beautiful. So grab our fingers. Interlace each finger between each toe. Fingers in there and pull back, pull forward, go side to side. I'm going to create some pressure here. And ah, let it go. I want to get that ankle one more time. Ah, isn't that great? Taking care of you. So now, now we're going to massage our feet a little bit, create some warmth. Let's go ahead and get started with our practice. So we're going to first lay in a, a, a neutral or passive chest opener pose. And so what that's going to look like is you can either have a block up here, and there's a couple ways you can do this. If you have yoga blocks, I recommend actually two blocks. So maybe you want to put your head on the highest height and then your chest on the, on the lower height. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is just have your chest on the block. But this is, it's still like, it's a solid four inches, so maybe it's a lot of stretch. And if you don't have blocks, not to worry. Blanket works just fine. So, we're gonna grab our blanket. I'm gonna roll it up so I can get as much height as possible here. Bring it across my mat. And it's gonna be right beneath my shoulder blades. Lower yourself down. Bring the head all the way down. Open your hands up. Lower the feet. So this is an open chested Shavasana. A big breath in. Open the left exhale. So take a couple of breaths here and remember, today we're practicing on opening up our heart. Opening up our chest and taking that a little deeper. Who do you need to open up your heart to? Or what do you need to open up your heart to? Is there something that maybe you've been unwilling to appreciate? And a couple of breaths here. Breathe big into the chest. Let it go. Find your mind, find your body on the mat. Don't allow your mind to wander, let it run the tray. Bring it on the mat. Bring it to your body. What is your body doing? Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Go ahead and roll to one or the other side. Moving that blanket out of the way. Lay here for just a second and acknowledge what this feels like. Does your chest feel a little more open? Like you stretched it out a bit. Bring those knees into your chest and walk side to side. Bring your knees up, exhale, lower them down to the right, look over to the left. Easy supine twist. Chest for a second here. In 
inhale your knees up through center, roll them to the opposite side. We'll look in the opposite direction. Bring the knees up through center. Grab on from behind the thighs and lock yourself up. Coming now to a tabletop position. From tabletop, take a big breath in. Exhale, you're going to open your chest up. So just a quick side note here. I'm not dropping my belly. I'm opening my chest up. Exhale, scoop your belly out. Look back towards your thighs. Inhale, open your chest up to the sky. Engage your abs here. Exhale, down, down, look back at your thighs. Inhale, open the chest up. Exhale, scoop out your tummy, look back towards your thighs. Come back to a neutral tabletop position. Place your hands, one hand from above where they are. Curl your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, open up, exhale. Shift yourself to plank. Take a breath here. And if you want, you can lower down to your knees. We're going to lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, place your hands by your face, framing your face. Up, just move back. Take a breath in. Peel your forehead and chest off the mat. Bring the shoulders away from your ears. You're pinching those shoulder blades together. Big breath in. Exhale, lower down. Slide your hands down underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in. Feel your forehead, chest, abs off the mat or cobra, shoulders away from the ears. Breath in, exhale, lower down. This time we're going to bring our hands out to the side, palms facing up. Take a breath in, lift your chest and your abs, and then lift your feet. Full locus here. All of your low back should be engaged. Take a big breath in, exhale, release. Bring your hands in front, push up through tabletop, and downward facing dog. Go ahead and take a second here in your dog, walk it out. Stretching out those hammies. Try to see if you can push your chest towards your thighs. Take a breath and inhale the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Find your footing here, your feet are in two lanes of traffic. Inhale, your hands come up. High crescent lunge. Take a breath here, sink a little bit lower. Exhale, pivot the back heel, open up warrior two. Don't allow yourself to be up here. Really sink into it so you're engaging your inner thighs. Those hands are going to go straight out. So from warrior two, we're going to move on to humble warrior, one of my favorite chest openers here. You're going to take your fingers, interlace them behind you, pop your chest up, and then bring the chest down by your knee. Hands come up overhead. Humble warrior. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Gently come on up. Use the strength of your legs here. Open up to warrior two. And then pivot your toes, your back toes and your front toes, to face the corners of your mat and sink low. Goddess pose. Bring your hands up to gold post. Stay here for a breath. Maybe pulse a little. So five, four, three, two, one. Open back up. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Find a breath here. Cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to pump. Shift forward. Lower down all the way. Place your hands out to the sides, palm facing up. Big breath in, full locus. Find a couple of breaths here. We're really engaging our back, shoulders away from the ears. Lower down. 
Bring your hands by your shoulders, push back through table to downward facing dog. Take a breath in, open mouth, exhale. Let's switch sides. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Feet are in two lanes of traffic. Inhale your hands up overhead. High crescent lunge. Sink low here. Take a breath in. Pivot the back heel. Open up warrior two. Really sink into this inner thigh. Interlace your fingers behind you. Pop your chest up. And then come down to humble warrior. Nothing in your legs change. Take a breath in, come on up. Bring your hands out to the side, warrior two. Pivot your toes, facing the corner of your mat. Sink low here for goddess. Hands come up. Stay here. We're gonna pulse for five, four, three, Two, one, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Find a breath here. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward, lower all the way down. Place your hands by your side, take a breath in. Inhale, come up, focus. Nice, big chest open with back strength. Exhale, lower down. Coming through tabletop, push back. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Let's do that sequence a couple more times on each side. Inhale, go right up. Exhale. Bring it through. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Interlace your fingers. Puff your chest up. Humble warrior. Take a breath here. Exhale. Inhale. Come on up using the strength of your legs. Release your hands. Warrior two. Pivot your toes. Sink low, goddess. Breath in. Breath out. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Big breath in. As we exhale, cut with your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward, lower down all the way. Take a breath in, come on up, locust. Breath in, breath out. Hands back, feet back, push all the way up. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Inhale your leg up to the sky. Step the left leg through. Inhale, come on up, high crescent lunge. Take a breath in, open up. Warrior two, interlace those fingers, puff your chest out. Humble warrior. Find an inhale and an exhale here. Come on up using the strength of your legs. Uninterlace your fingers. Pivot your toes, sink low, goddess. Find a breath here, inhale, exhale. Open up warrior two, reverse your warrior. Inhale, exhale, cut with your hands down to the floor, step back to plank, shift forward, lower down. Take a breath in, come on for locust. Find a breath in, find a breath out. Bring your hands back, push all the way through downward facing dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. So that one more time. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Interlace your fingers, puff your chest up. Hum, warrior, find a breath. And exhale. Come on up. Warrior two. Pivot your toes, sink low, goddess. Find a breath here. Exhale. Open up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, cut with your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward, lower all the way down. Take a breath in, come on up for full focus. 
Nice big breath here. Lift your toes up one more. Exhale, release. Push back. Downward facing dog. Left side, inhale the left up. Step it all the way through. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, warrior two. Interlace your fingers. Pop your chest up. Humble warrior. Find a breath in. Exhale. Inhale, come on up. Warrior two. Pivot those toes. Sink low, goddess. Find a breath here. And exhale. Open up. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. Shift forward. Lower down all the way. Inhale. Focus. Exhale. Push back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open the mouth. Exhale. And bring yourself down to your knees. Knees open wide, toes to touch. Sit back, palms face up. Find a breath here. Open mouth, exhale. So today I'm really cueing the breath here. Not because I don't think you know, you don't know how to breathe, but because I find that people that are really good at taking care of other people forget to do some of the basic things, like take care of themselves. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that you're breathing in and breathing out, that you're remembering the basics, that if you don't take care of yourself, it's hard to take care of others, right? So finding a few more breaths here with palms facing up. So far, what has this practice offered you? What is your body, your mind, and your heart trying to tell you? Come on up to a tabletop position. From tabletop, we're gonna do a little bit of bird dog here. So make sure that your weight is evenly distributed in your hands. Take a breath in, shoot that left leg out. Toes are neutral, not super flex, not pointed, just neutral. Engage your abs here, belly button goes up and in. We have head clamps on our hips, facing the floor. Right hand comes up and out. Another really good core and back strengthener. In order to have a nice, strong chest, you have to have the back muscles supporting the chest, right? People that tend to slouch over or uh, hollow out their chest, their muscles are actually weak because they're too stretched out. So we're gonna counter all of our chest opening by strengthening our back. Take a breath in. Exhale, the knee and the elbow meet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And roll back down. Let's switch sides. The right leg comes up. Find your balance. Hips are facing the mat. Left hand comes out. So again, engaging your abs, belly button up and in, headlamp facing down, shoulders away from the ears. Find a nice focal point here. Take a breath in, the elbow and the knee are gonna meet. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. One more breath here. And lowering back down. Bump your hips to the left or to the right. Do a couple of nice big hip circles. Other direction. Coming back to a tabletop position. You're gonna sit down to child's pose just for a breath. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Inhale, come on up. Take the left hand, bring it up behind you, really opening up the chest. Exhale, sink back down, take a breath in. Exhale, come on up, right hand. 
up and over, opening up our chest, opening up our shoulders. Step back down. We're going to do a couple more of these. Inhale, come on up, left hand up and over. Exhale, step back down. Inhale, the right. And one more time, each side, left hand up and over. Right comes up and over. Beautiful. One more breath here in child's pose. Come on up through child's pose to downward facing dog. We can back at our feet, start walking your hands back towards your feet. Take your time here. Nice big hamstring stretch. Take a breath here, place your hands on your shins, halfway lift, straightening out the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, your hands all the way up. Exhale, and it's the heart center. Beautiful. So we're gonna do a couple of balancing poses here. For our balancing practice, we're gonna start off slow and kind of build our way up to dancer, which is a nice big chest opener pose. So to start off, we're just going to start with one-legged Tadasana. So you're going to root down through your left leg, inhale your hands up, bring the shoulders away from the ears, bring the right knee up. Try to get it as even as you can to your hip. And if you find that you're wobbling a little bit, totally fine. Find a nice good focal point, bring your hands to heart center, engage your abs here. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Okay, spread your feet out, hip width distance. Nice big helicopter here. Just releasing it out. Okay, let's switch sides. Root down through the right. Inhale your hands up, shoulders away from the ears, belly button up and in. Left knee comes up. Find a good focal point. You can have a micro bend in the standing knee. Bring your hands down, heart center. Let's find a couple of breaths here. Exhale, bring it down. Go ahead, spread your feet out to hip with distance. Nice big hip circles. Okay, now we're gonna work on dancer. It's a really, really pretty pose. So we're gonna root down through our left. Your right hand is gonna come out like you're serving a platter and bend the knee backwards. The right foot is backwards. You're gonna hold on. Doing to the side so you can see what I'm doing here. You're gonna round to the inside of the foot that's the right foot. The left hand is gonna come up overhead. So this variation one, you can stay right here, find a nice focal point, maybe have a micro bend in the knee. Variation one. If you got this right here, stay here. If you want more, here we go. What you're gonna do is kick your foot into your uh, hand and then start tilting forward. This is a big chest opener, back bend pose. Bring your abs in. Keep leaning forward, tilting forward. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and if you fall out, it's totally fine. So start again, bring your hand out. If you're in it, stay in it. Don't let me, don't let me make you fall here. Actually, it's probably go ahead and stand back up. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. Okay. So we're sitting here on my right foot. I'm moving my left foot now. My left hand is coming out, bending my left foot backwards, grabbing onto the inside of my foot. So my hand is coming up and over my right hand. So this is pose one, find a nice focal point. You can stay here, engage your abs. If you want, you can start kicking into your foot and tilt forward. Kick, kick, kick your foot into your hand. focal point okay and come on up with control ah so let it go all right check it out so that's a really pretty pose and honestly each side is going to be different my right side not as good as my left side it's okay that's what it is okay beautiful spread your feet out hip width distance bring your hands into heart center sink low through goddess 
all the way down Malasana. So here in Malasana, we're going to use our elbows to open up our chest, look upwards. So it's a big inner thigh opener here, but we're also using it as a chest opener. And a couple of breaths here. So if you remember, in our world sequence, we did uh, quite a few of goddess, right? Where we're working out the inner thighs, now we're stretching them out. Okay, bring your hands down. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna come back to our downward facing dog. Inhale, go right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Getting ready for half pigeon here. The back foot is straight behind you. Bring your elbows down to the floor. Find a couple of breaths here in, in half pigeon. So again, if your mind kind of starts to wander, can you try to bring your mind back? Bring it back to the mat. Bring it back to your heart. What's your heart telling you here? One more big breath here. Place your hands on the mat, curl your back toes, lift the foot up, three-legged dog, shake the foot out, bring it back down. Inhale the left up, Exhale, step it through. Back foot straight behind me. Hips facing the front of the mat. Lower down to your elbows. Find a few breaths here. Place your hands on the mat, curl your back toes, push back, three-legged dog, shake that foot out, and bring it down. Go ahead and come to a seated position in the center of our mat. So if you want, you can grab onto your blanket again, place it underneath you. We're going to just find a couple of breaths here before we go into Shavasana. So place your hands on your chest, one over the other. Get a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. So continuing just to breathe here with your hands on your heart. And I want you to just think about and imagine what would it be like if you could open your heart up to yourself? What would it feel like? Or what would it look like? you were able to take care of yourself the way that you take care of others. Allow your heart to speak to your hands. Giving yourself some space here to listen to our body, to listen to our mind, to listen to our heart. Gently bring your hands down by your side. Inhale your hands up. Exhale the left hand comes down. Just a gentle side body stretch here. Switch sides. Switch sides. Beautiful. Inhale your hands up to the sky. The right is coming across, left behind. Nice twist here. Go ahead and unwind yourself. Inhale your hands back up. Left comes across the body, right comes behind. Inhale your chest up, twist. Beautiful. Nice 
um, spine movement here. So let's go ahead and move the blanket and put the blanket up, up, up towards the top of your mat. We're just going to use it as a pillow. We're going to lower ourselves back down for Shavasana. Your hands out, palms facing up. Just allow yourself to soften. Allow your body to absorb the practice. We have a few moments here of complete stillness. So if you need to fidget anything out of the way, go ahead and fidget it and then find some stillness. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, can you find softness? Can you let yourself go and just relax? Just maybe two more percent than where you're at now. Stay here for a few moments. Wiggle your toes. Inhale your hands up overhead. Exhale your knees into your heart. Roll over to the side. Use your bicep as a pillow. Stay here in fetal pose. Find a breath here. Tell yourself something kind. Allow yourself to be absorbed in the kindness that you have for yourself. And when you're ready, come on up to a seated position. Bring your hands into heart center. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you for coming to the mat learning to open up your heart a little bit. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find some playlists specific to this practice. Um, it's called Enneagram Type 2 Playlist on my Apple Music account. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.